Hello students and welcome back to campus. Freshmen, welcome to Bob Jones. It's only been a couple weeks since school started and we already have tests, quizzes, and projects. Students arriving for the semester might have noticed some changes that took place over the summer. Let's go to Faith over in the Mac Library with some more details. You don't just use your phone for calling your mom and dad, and you can use the library for more than just storing some dusty books. This summer, the Mac Library updated its periodical room and brought out some cool items from storage. So whether you're looking for some magazines to read or you need some puppets for a local children's event, the Mac Library works for you. There isn't too much that is actually missing. It got moved. The library only has one copy of all the periodicals now. If it's online, it's not in print. So we didn't lose access to the information, we just lost access to the giant books. The library still has access to all of their periodicals, either online or in print form. The library also added some puppets this year. The puppets can be used for children's events and can be checked out regularly, so you can have them for a long time. For WBJU News, I'm Faith Hunter. Apparently the Muppets are living in the library these days. While the library added something new, you all may have noticed something big has been missing around campus. Elise has more on this story. One of Bob Jones University's entrances is located off of North Pleasantburg Drive. This busy seven-lane highway has many stores across the street from the school's entrance. Many students use the footbridge to cross the street to go to these stores. But over the summer, maintenance started repairing this footbridge. It's been an issue over the last four or five years, but waiting on budget constraints um, is to the point where we had to get it repaired due to the rust buildup on the bridge. This project is three weeks behind schedule due to the rain over the summer. The bridge was expected to be ready by the time school started. Lord willing, it'll go back up September 17th and then they'll continue working on the towers, so we'll get it open as quick as we can after that. In the meantime, students are crossing the busy highway without this footbridge. This is Elise Yorgi reporting from Greenville, South Carolina. Although you may see the bridge up, it will remain closed until the steps pass inspection. For WBJU-TV, I'm Marjorie Elliott. Have a great weekend.